Hey, today we are going to talk about the sniper scope, its internal parts and how it works. The sniper uses his scope for observation, locating hidden targets and finally executing an accurate shot. It's hard to call a sniper rifle a sniper rifle without the scope. The scope is made of cylindrical tube, lenses that sit in doublet or triplet, which means several lenses tacked together in line to compensate for optical distortions. The scope also has a reticle and drums that allow the user to move the reticle. In the front we have the objective that collects the light. The name of this lens refers to it being the closest lens to the object that the shooter is looking at. The bigger the objective, the brighter the picture the shooter is going to get. To get an even clearer and brighter picture, the manufacturer uses special optical glass and multiple coatings for the glass. Every coating has its own purpose, starting with maximizing the light transfer from 90% to over 98%, preventing reflections, blocking lasers and more. From the objective, the light goes to the first focal plane. If the reticle located there, it's called the first focal plane, meaning the reticle will grow proportionally to the target. Most of scopes today use this method. After that, the light enters the erector lenses. Those lenses are responsible for flipping the picture. In variable magnification scopes, they are also responsible for changing the magnification. When the shooter rotates the magnification ring, the erector lenses move in perfect synchronization and in result the picture gets bigger or smaller. From there, the light goes to the second focal plane. If the reticle is located there, it's called the second focal plane. Meaning, the reticle will not change its size according to the magnification. By moving the focus parallax drum, the reticle will move to the focal plane, preventing parallax. In many scopes, there is a small LED or other light source to illuminate the reticle, meant for shooting in low light conditions. After that, the light travels to the eyepiece lenses, where the diopter is located. The diopter is responsible for adjusting the scope to the shooter's eye, so he can get a crisp and clear reticle. From the eyepiece lenses, the light finally reaches the shooter's eye. The light is concentrated in a focal point that creates a distance called eye relief and diameter that called the exit pupil. The eye relief is designed according to the weapon is supposed to mount on. In low recoil weapons like the AR-15, where the shooter is supposed to get fast in the scope, the eye relief is short, like the ACOG. In high recoil weapons, the eye relief is longer, to prevent accidents. When the pupil is located correctly, the picture will be full. When the shooter loses the exit pupil, he will see a scope shadows that indicate that the pupil is not properly located. The scope drum allows the shooter to zero his weapon and correct for ballistics. The action of turning the drum is also called taking clicks because of the noise it makes and the feeling of it. Every click has its own angular value depending on the scope. When the shooter takes clicks up, a screw will push the reticle down against the spring. When the shooter takes clicks in the opposite direction, the spring pushes the reticle up. There are two kinds of reticles. The first is centered reticle. In this case, the reticle always keeps center. Only the picture moves. Most of the reticles today of this kind. The second kind of reticle is a not centered reticle. In this case, the reticle is the one that moves exactly like in the PSO-1 Russian scope. The cylindric part is called the tube. And there are a few different sizes. For example, 30 or 34 millimeters. The bigger the tube, the more potential clicks there are. To confirm the scope is completely sealed, the manufacturer will fill and drain the scope a few times using nitrogen, until he gets the wanted result. Scopes can also be named by its characteristics. When we say 10 by 40 scope, it means 10 magnification and 40 millimeter objective and 8.5 to 20 by 50 means variable magnification from 8.5 to 20 and 50 millimeter objective. That's it. That was in sum the sniper scope. Hope it was an interesting topic.
So have a good day or night and see you in the next video.